Hey there, this is Dave coming at you with another ZBrush tutorial, and today we're going to talk about how you can make all of your sculpts better in just seconds. So it turns out there's something a little bit strange about ZBrush's internal camera and the defaults that they, they load it up with. So in particular, if you're starting your sculpt using one of the projects that you'll find here in Lightbox, for instance, DinoWack 64, if you load up this project, it actually, in addition to the object itself has tons of settings that come with it, in particular also the angle of view. So the angle of view here in the Z project is 90 degrees, and if you don't really think about it too much, you're like, okay, well 90 degrees, that sounds about reasonable, it you know, gives me plenty of room to look up, down, left, and right. But if you compare that to what that means to a camera lens, a 90 degree field of view is equivalent to a 12 millimeter lens. And that, my friends, is a ultra-wide fisheye lens. So that means everything you're sculpting, you're looking at it through this very weird, very distorted lens, and things could look very, very strange. So what I recommend is that before you begin any project, open up the draw menu and double check the angle of view. And I recommend again from the camera world, starting with something really normal, a 50 millimeter lens is kind of considered, you know, a very regular normal looking lens. You can't go wrong with that's 27 degrees. If you're referencing professional photography, maybe some fashion photography that was probably shot at like 85 millimeters or 100 millimeters, and those field of views are down at around 16.1. So when, when you begin your project, definitely open up the draw menu, double check that the field of view is something reasonable, or if you're like me, just start everything with the same field of view. So I always make sure that I'm using a 27 degree field of view, which again is sort of like a portrait lens look. And then when you're doing your sculpt, as you're toggling perspective on and off, you will have something that is not going to look fisheye and is not going to look strange and will definitely help all of your sculpts from the get-go, from beginning to end. So, all right, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy ZBrushing. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will check you guys later. All right, bye-bye.